This place is heavily guarded. Have a good saw. Firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. At long last. We have waited in the shadows for too long. Keep your eyes sharp and watch out. For the Red hand all around. They must have secured the minster.
bot. to get on the other side. place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. <laughs> I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. <laughs> the Abyss is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between. Time I get between her and her next victim. The 
This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. Turn to Juvena. She'll want to know about Abby's inky box involvement. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abbess, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach know no bounds? None, and it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. 
Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless Sikhs have free roam in our lands as well. Your settler spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hyor if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Trade Depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. The Dogmaster. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, your ping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must be there must be another way in. The depot is well guarded by the hand. Order has a stake in these docks. I know, I... I forgot which merchants to collect from. I cannot believe this. Merchants on their store so. God's never your mind. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with me. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. 
Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Copper Gate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. What do you mean, trouble? Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls, eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! The needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at nightfall. We will go see him together. Hey friend, I have a hoard of silver I'm aching to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around, you'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Thank you. 
Hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. There must be another way in. Crates. Has this all been seized as well? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? No! Please! Don't do this! I promise! I promise you your silver next week! I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! 
Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. this in Coppergate Market. Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I should be cautious around here. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. Funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, he gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. 
where you have gone with tears waiting for you. What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rysie, Faravid, Odin, and... You're the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. Come on! Seen these weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfband's army. Could be why Feravid is pressing the council for more silver. A wax seal, similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. The room to the left. That is where the councilmen confer. Desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Yours, desk, used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. <laughs> the 
There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him. Not Major. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Jor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I'll speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even your. If he is the vault, I'll not allow him to kill all these people. Juvena. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now, to speak to the council members. Faravit! A word, if I may. Ha! Ah, Drenger! If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I am selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. Now, to speak to the council members. I'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Aldon, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I'll fetch you some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The High Reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if it keeps this up. Rishia. Ah! Come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Eivor, <clears throat> have you uncovered who the vault is? Not yet. I'll return shortly with my decision. Sure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? 
I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it's important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Paul. Of course. We need to find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Inkiborg collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all. So the wine. Aldun is the vault. So light for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Aldun. Go. Protect the king. Aldun. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. 
I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants and priests and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many suns. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Show me what lies ahead. Eivor! Over here! Are you all right? We're fine. Farah Vilden is cars escorted King Rishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Shit! Conspiring right under. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishie. Aldon is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Aldun aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Evo? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple. They would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure half the Njarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today. And so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yule's hide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. 
I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harald all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Jor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I'll take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news.